by Indra, the king of heaven. The demigods were victorious, leaving many demons, including Bali Maharaj, the king of demons, lifeless on the battlefield. Scene 1. The Ashram of Shukracharya. Shukracharya! 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 We have bought the great Bali Maharaj. Please help him. I fear it is too late. Yes. He has left his body. But look here. The touch of my hand and by the sound of my Sanjeevani mantra, I will bring him back to life. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. There, look, it is done. Arise, O oh, Bali Maharaj. By my blessing, now you will remember everything. What? What? Oh, I have been defeated and killed, but I'm alive. Yes, I have brought you back to life. You did? You, you are the great Sukracharya. Yes, Bali, do you now wish to become powerful enough to defeat the demigods? and kick out Indra and reign as the king of heaven in Indra's place. Yes, my heart burns for revenge. Then, oh, Bali, surely you will appreciate my instructions. Oh, most powerful one, please allow me to become your disciple. Yes, Bali, I will accept you. You have brought me back to life, and therefore my faith in you is great. Please accept all that I own as an offering at your feet. Okay. Oh, Bali, go and bathe and become purified. Upon returning, you will see about satisfying your desire for revenge. Bali Maharaj, who is the son of Virochana, grandson of Prahlad, and the great grandson of Hiranya Kashipu, bathed and was purified according to the regulative principles. Then, after being blessed by the powerful Brahmana descendants of Brigu Muni, he returned. Shukracharya! Oh, my Guru, I have returned, eager to defeat my enemies. Oh, Bali, be seated. We will now perform the sacrifice known as Viswajit. You will be impressed by the results. From the mobile. Your chariot, look. Oh, Bali. Your chariot now appears to be covered with gold and silk. Look, Bali, oh, look, your bow, a golden bow and two quivers of arrows that will not fail you and armor you from the heavenly planets. All that you need to defeat your enemies, oh, Bali. In addition, I will offer you a very special conch shell. Both the Brahmanas and my spiritual master have blessed me. I have my chariot, my bow, my arrows, and my armor. My grandfather Prahlad gave me this garland. Soldiers, soldiers, assemble and prepare for war. Bali, due to his association with the devotees, developed Brahma Tejas, 
Lesson here, associating and serving devotees gives great power. Bali Maharaj then attacked Indrapuri. Indra consulted with his guru, Brahaspati, and decided to run away instead of fighting the mighty Bali. Bali then became the ruler of the three worlds. Shukracharya told him to conduct 100 Ashwamedha sacrifices so that he can keep Indra's kingdom for a long time. Bali Maharaj felt proud of being the ruler of the three worlds and thought himself to be the greatest charitable person. But his happiness was not felt by all. Aditi, the mother of the demigods, was filled with lamentation because her sons were helpless in this position and feared the great power of Bali Maharaj. Kashyapamuni, the father of both the demigods and demons, instructed Aditi in the process of Payovrata. Aditi strictly worshipped the Lord and the Supreme Lord appeared before her. Lesson here, approach the Supreme Lord for any desires. The Supreme Lord instantly assumed the form of a dwarf Brahman with yellow garments. Brahaspati gave him the sacred thread of a Brahmana. Indra offered him an umbrella. Since he's the younger brother of Indra, he's also called Upendra. Saraswati offered him chanting beads. Vamanadev then went to the sacrificial arena of Bali Maharaj. Scene 2, The Sacrificial Arena of Bali Maharaj Om, Om, Om What's that? It's coming this way. His effulgence is so bright, like the rising of the sun. It is the sun god. No, it must be Sanat Kumar. The fire god Agni Dev must be personally coming to see Bali Maharaj's Ashwamedha fire sacrifice. I offer respectful obeisances to all the Brahmanas who are our masters. You are welcome here, for by your presence, this sacrifice is now complete. Whatever you desire from me, I will give. Take a cow gold, a house, a wife, food and drink, villages, horses, chariots, elephants. I will give you anything. What can I offer you, O Brahmana boy? My dear king, you are indeed a worthy descendant of the devoted Prahlad, who is like the beautiful moon in the sky. You have followed all the principles that the exalted sages follow. Although you are very ma magnificent and can give me much material opulence, I ask from you only three steps of land. My dear young boy, your words are as good as those of a learned man, but you seem to possess the intelligence of a mere child. I can give you an entire planet because the universe is mine. And you ask for three steps of land? If a man is avaricious and filled with desires, surely even the whole universe is not sufficient for him. Therefore, it is better to take only as much as one requires to keep body and soul together. Oh, small boy, ask from me something that is so great that you will never have to ask anyone for anything again at any time. Be thoughtful. One who is satisfied with what he has is freed from material bondage. That is the goal of life. Very well. You may take what you like. Stop! Stop! Bali! Oh, Sanyas Virochana, you should know that 
this dwarf like brahmachari is the supreme lord vishnu himself he is appearing as the son of aditi and kashyap muni surely he has come to take all your land and deliver it to your enemy the indra gurudev what do you mean you don't know what a dangerous benediction you have made oh bali this will bring great harm to the side of the demons but i have promised him only three steps of land three steps but he will take everything from us you rascal you don't know what a mistake you have made after he takes everything from you how will you live and how will i live in promising three steps of land you have made a grave mistake for with two steps only he will occupy all the three worlds and then being unable to fulfill your promise you will certainly be cast down into hell i am the grandson of prahlad maharaj how can i be a cheater and withdraw a promise made to a brahmana surely there is no act so sinful as untruthfulness at the time of death one loses all his possessions so why should one maintain false attachment to them you brahmanas should continually worship lord vishnu with vedic hymns now having obtained the opportunity to serve lord vishnu directly should i ignore him i must carry out his order oh bali but he is not even a brahmana he is your sworn enemy the vishnu you must fight him even if he is vishnu and has hidden himself in the form of a brahmana out of fear of me still because he has assumed the form of a brahmana no matter what he does i shall not fight with him you fool although you have no knowledge you dare to disobey my order and therefore i curse you you will soon be bereft of all your opulence my opulence will be taken away at the time of death i should please this brahmana my guest by offering him the riches that i am already destined to lose you disobedient disciple i curse you may you soon lose all your wealth my dear brahmana please excuse this disturbance kindly take the gift of land that i have offered you the lesson here strong values help in making good decisions while shining like the captivating moon in the night the supreme personality of god had began increasing his size until the earth and all the planetary systems the sky the seas birds bees human beings the demigods and great saintly persons were within him all the members of bali maharaj's assembly saw everything in existence within La lord vishnu's body with my first step i have claimed all the land of the earth with my second step i have claimed all the planets of the universe taking his second step lord vishnu covered the heavenly planets and as the lord's foot extended higher and higher beyond the maharloka janaka loka and finally beyond the brahma loka not even a spot remained for his third step then lord vishnu again assumed the small form of a beautiful dwarf brahmana boy what this vamana dev is not a brahmana but the great creator vishnu himself acting on behalf of the demigods taking advantage of our king's truthfulness he has deceived all of us by this treachery therefore it is our duty to kill him loyal followers please desist from this act 
In former times, fate was on our side as we conquered Indra territory, but we are mortals. And although we were thought to be very dominant when we took over the heavenly planets, we must know that we are nothing but grains of sand compared to the Lord. This was our flaw. We were blinded by our riches, and the Supreme Lord wants us to realize this. Now our only option left is to surrender. Even though the 14 planets are lost, they are nothing compared to what we stand to gain by surrendering to him. Let us therefore take shelter of the lotus feet of Sri Vishnu, knowing well that time will no longer hurt us. O oh, king of the demons, with my first two steps, I have covered the universe. Therefore, your promise is unfulfilled, and you must go down to the hellish regions. This is the fate for one who does not keep his word. My dear Lord, if you think my promise un is unfulfilled, I must rectify this. I cannot allow your promise to be false. Please, therefore, place your third footstep on my head. Although you are posing as our enemy, you are our greatest well-wisher, having removed our illusion of material opulence and shown us the right path. My dear demigods, if a person has great beauty and opulence and yet is not attached to them, he must be understood to be especially favored by me. Although all his possessions were removed, his friends and relatives rebuked him and his own spiritual master cursed him. Still, Bali Maharaj did not give up in his truthfulness. Therefore, during the next Manvantara, he will be the next Indra. Until that time, Bali Maharaj, you may live peacefully on the planet of Sutala. You need not fear your enemies, for I shall always be with you to give you your protection, and you will always be able to see me. What a wonderful effect there is in even attempting to offer obeisances to you. I merely endeavored to offer you obeisances, but nonetheless the attempt was successful. The costless mercy you have shown me was never achieved even by the mighty chiefs of the demigods who are your eternal servants. Jai Sri Vamanadev! The lesson here, greatness of a person is measured by his ability to tolerate provoking circumstance. Thus, Vamanadev returned the heavenly kingdom to Indra and Aditi. Bali Maharaj is still living peacefully on the planet Sutala, where Lord Vamanadev takes the post of his doorkeeper. In the period of Savarni Manu, Bali Maharaj will assume the post of King of Heaven. Bali Maharaj is here today to visit his citizens on the occasion.